Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will discuss some major new features on Windows Server 2025. Microsoft has made many enhancements in new Windows Server, also called vNext. So let's explore Server 2025 new features, starting with Active Directory. Active Directory 32K page size. Now the new domain controller is installed with a 32K page database and uses a 64-bit long value ID and it also runs in an 8K page mode for the compatibility with the previous version of Windows Server. 2025 version of AD has some security enhancement as well. Now the RC4 algorithm is the preferred way of method and LDAP communication and it supports the TLS 1.3 for LDAP over TLS and the LDAP policy is enforced. It also added a root DSC mode to set the priority of a specific replication link that will enhance the replication. You will get the new forest and domain function level, new function level required for new features. If you want to use a new feature, you have to raise the function level and there are no plans to backport these features. That means if you want to upgrade from older AD version, you should have a Windows Server function level to 2016 or greater. Therefore, Remote SSH Server is pre-installed on Windows Server 2025 and it is disabled by default. The next feature is Hot Patching. Now you can update Windows Server without any reboot. It's a game changing like hot patching that means server will be updated without any reboot. It can quickly patch your server in a less time. Arc enabled hot patching. Microsoft is offering Arc enabled hot patching everywhere which means everybody will get this hot patching feature in server 2025. Next if we talk about the storage, you get the acceleration on mission critical workloads. It is optimized for NVMe storage and it delivers up to 90% more IOPS on NVMe and SSD storage. Also you get the enhancement of storage replica and REFS deduplication and compression. It reduces the storage cost and perform better with the lower CPU utilization. The next feature in the Hyper-V and AI. Now you can use the Hyper-V with the artificial intelligence. You can share the GPU. Now you can share the GPU across multiple VMs. It means now you can create a GPU partition as well. You have a GPU partition support for Hyper-V including support for the live migration as well. Next we have a dynamic processor compatibility to scale out with confidence. Now you can use the dynamic processor compatibility in a better way to scale out with the confidence means you can use the different CPU version to scale out your server. And in the networking part, you have a network ATC. It is a one click deployment. You can configure your network in a one click. The next option we have in the networking is SDN multi-site. It supports the parity with stretch clusters and it eliminates need of update policies when workloads move across the locations. Next option we have a SGN Gateway Performance Improvement. You will see the SGN Gateway Performance Improvement by 20-50% to 50 with lower CPU utilization. And the container flexibility. Now you can run Windows Server 2022 container vNext without upgrading the base image and it reduced the image size with the smaller delta layers. And in the file server, we have a SMB over quick. And this is a game changing feature. That means everyone can get this SMB over quick feature and you can access your files from outside without any delay. It has a better security control and it prevents from the brute force attack as well. Therefore, it gives a better security control in the modern environment end of legacy firewall. Earlier, installing a file server role opens the SMB 445 and 5445 ports, WMI, DCOM, these are opened when you install the file server role. But now creating a share no longer open NetBIOS port anymore. And if we talk about the upgrades, the easiest upgrades ever. Upgrade from older version to new build version means get new version of OS just by the update. Launch the Flighting. Microsoft also announced the launch of Flighting for Windows Server Insiders. It enables the IT administrators 
to install new build via an in-place OS upgrade rather than performing a clean installation. Earlier you have to do a clean installation but now you can do a in-place upgrade just by the update. And an in-place upgrade help you to preserve application, data and user setting to make the transition to the new version less disruptive for end users. Hybrid fast and easy and the purchasing model. You get the Azure Arc. Azure Arc installer wizard makes Arc enabling as a breeze. It removes all the complexity to unlock the power of Azure in your data center. And you have a new subscription based purchasing model with pay as you go. And it also supports Microsoft 365 apps on Windows Server 2025 by enabling the RDS deployment. And if you want to know more in depth about the new feature of Windows Server 2025, you can visit this link. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.